guys, so I figured I'd do a, uh, you know, newer album record collection. These are albums that I have came out with in the last 10 to 15 years. So the first one I have is Josh Groban. Now, I was really stoked when Barnes & Noble decided to um, make a vinyl version of this album because I have a CD version. I have like a regular CD and then a deluxe CD. So this is really cool because this is my favorite Josh Groban album and I have everything except the newer album that Josh Groban has done on CD. So this is a really nice surprise. Lucas Graham, Seven Years is such a good song and you're not there. Lucas Graham, Seven Years, and this is a record store day edition. Lucas Graham, no, not Lucas Graham, you see, I'm getting a little tongue-tied, this is spoiled, what went down, and they signed my album, they were really nice, George Ezra, Wanted on Voyage, Mac DeMarco Saladay, my favorite Mac DeMarco album, Jeff Fab for Achilles, Transplantism, my favorite Jeff Tab album by far. Dan Cole, Sweet Disarray. Craftsville Gallery. And yeah, Justin signed my album. Because I saw he had a merch booth and I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy an album. He signed it with a stoner guy. He may or may not have been stoned when he was doing that show. Who knows? Only Justin knows. Ed Cheer on X. Pawn holding out for you. Pawn weather. The newest album. Then of course I had to get him to sign my favorite al album. And that's Beard Wives in general. I still have to get Hobo Rocket by Pawn. Pretty Odd. Panic at the Disco. Pamela Violet. This one is In Times of Turmoil, Find a Home to Attack From. You know when you go see a band and then you fall in love with them and then you buy their albums? Well, that's what I did with Pamela Violet. And this is Pamela Violet's Danger in the Club. A band that helped shape my 20s. The Everglow, May. And I've seen this band twice. May, Destination Beautiful. My favorite MGMT album. MGMT, A Rackless Spectacular. Zane, Mind of Mind. Dan Cole, Hello My Baby, and Ever Exercise. And that's a record store day edition. All today, this is your all yours. I need an awesome wave and maybe relaxer in my question. Across the universe, music from the motion picture, record store day edition. I had to go through hoops to find that album online. Bad Blood, Bastille. This one, I played a lot. And this is Bastille, Wild World. Passenger, Young as the Morning, Old as the Sea. Kings of Convenience, right on an empty seat. If you're looking for a really good folk band, I highly recommend this band. Love Cayman Island. Coldplay, A Head Full of Dreams. Coldplay, Parachute. Bombay Bicycle Club, Flaw. I'm kind of disappointed that they are on a break because I really enjoy their music. So long, see you tomorrow. But I'm glad I got to see them the two times that I did. A band that helped shape me when I started high school. And this is Blink 182's Greatest Hits. I remember being 14 years old and I bought Dude Ranch on, on tape. Not on tape, actually. I bought it on CD. And I love that band. Format, Interventions and Lullaby. You might remember the lead singer because he also sings in a band called Fun. 
Bonnie Bear Blood Bank. I bought a single just because I love this song so much. And this is Blood Bank by Bonnie Bear. Another band that shaped my 20s, and I saw them twice. Actually, no, not twice. I saw them three or four times. And that's the Rocket Summer. This is Calendar Days. Hello, good friends. The Rocket Summer. Can't Stop the Feeling, Justin Timberlake. Vampire Weekend, Vampire Weekend, Vampire Weekend Contra, this is a record store day edition, Vampire Weekend Staff, and Vampire Weekend Modern Vampires with Shades. Now I need a new album for Vampire Weekend, this one came out in 2013, it's been four years, I need some new music Vampire Weekend. Walk the Moon, You Are Not Alone, Live at the Green. This is a Record Store Day edition, and Talking is Hard, Walk the Moon. Vessel, 21 Pilots. 21 Pilots, Larry Face, and now another album I played a lot. Current. King and Paula. Now, if you're looking for a uh, psychedelic new band, I totally recommend King and Paula. This one's King and Paula in a speaker. My favorite King and Paula album. And last, King and Paula Lonerism. Now, that was my newish music collection. I will do a video of my oldies collection right here, because I got a lot of old records, because I mostly buy old records, but yeah, check back to see when I post that video, because I should have a video up within a couple of days or maybe next week, depending on how many see I get, but yeah, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video, bye guys, peace.